The national championship on the line in set number one. Connor Hughes got UC Irvine off to a great start. USC came back, but ultimately it was UC Irvine taking that first set 25 to 22. The first set goes to number one seed UC Irvine. Justin Kutcher alongside three-time national champion Karch Karayan. Karch, in that first set, we talked about that big play for UC Irvine. They started off with that, but that wasn't their bread and butter in set number one. Really what worked for UC Irvine was the service line. It has been all season. They're high risk, high reward. They created so many point opportunities that even though their offense was much less efficient than their season average and much less efficient than USC's, they still won by three points. Looking at that first set summary, Carson Clark got off that good start. So important, five kills, hit 333. Also chimed in with two aces. Torelli, he had a good first set, maybe not up to par for the National Player of the Year. And remember, when you serve a ball so hard that it bounces off the other team and comes over the net, that is not called an ace, but it's essentially an ace because now you're on offense instead of on defense. You see Irvine created at least two or three of those, including uh, uh, in addition to the two aces. Here in set number two, Stephen Mahalski will start things off serving for the Trojans. And we're going to have a net oh, violation man. here against oh, USC. Point to UC Irvine. Back to serve, number nine, Carson Clark. Carson Clark will be the first server for the Anteaters. up at the net by Chirelli. Chirelli took a little chance there. He knew Carson Clark was his main hitter, but he still jumped in the air, put his hands over. Nice block creating something out of nothing to slow down the UC Irvine offense. Robert Feathers, the short serve. Hughes once again. Christensen, the set for Torelli. And Torelli gets the point. Not always how hard you hit it, but when and where. Well, first of all, Christensen with a great job on setting that ball. It was going almost into the referee stand, and he gave Torelli something to work with. Torelli also very smart to push it with his left hand. Five kills now in the match for Tony Torelli. And the one-point lead here for USC in the second set. Of course, the opportunity created at the service line with that look, that short serve. Let's see if he does it again. And a block up at the net. Hughes again. Kept alive by Chirelli. A set for Chirelli. And he missed hit that one. So who, who, who is that? Is that Chirelli or is that Christensen on the set? It wasn't a great location, but Chirelli trying to cut a really thin slice. That's a beat shot right there, that cut shot. But of course, Connor Hughes across the net was all over that. He has seen that in the scouting report. He's, of course, now up at the service line. USC looking for its first title in 22 years. And UC Irvine has become a powerhouse in the last six years, looking for their third national championship. Back to serve, number one, Tanner Jensen. That was a full point we just saw that anyone's taking a real big swing. <laughs> you won't see that often <laughs> in a men's match. But what it is, is misconnections. This set led too far, too far in front of the three meter line. The only choice for Mahalski there was to tip it, smart play. Good pass by Brinkley. Leads for the kill by Scott Kevorkin. And a nice choice by the setter, Chris Austin, seeing that there was no block whatsoever in front of Kevorkin. He gets a one-on-none opportunity, the kind hitters win, or should win, every time. And that serve floats long for the error. And a point for USC. 5-3, to three, USC leading UC Irvine here in set number two.
And Tony Cirelli is back to serve here for the Trojans. It's interesting, USC normally this season has started with him the first server, but he's now the fourth server. They're going for a different matchup. An opportunity here, and taken advantage of by UC Irvine. Again, USC leaving the quick set, the first choice open. In that case, that was Dan McDonald, who's been so effective for UC Irvine, hitting almost 500, but only his first kill tonight. Christensen set. There's Tanner Jackson coming flying from the back row. Robert Tennis returns for the Trojans. Back serve number 18, Steve Shandrick. Now Steven Shandrick back to serve here for USC. Good read by Christensen. Torelli, the back row and the point. And you can see in the back row for UC Irvine, they always play Chirelli to hit to his right. So this that time, he hit it to his left instead, wide open off the top of the block. Oh, miscommunication by UC Irvine. And you're thinking right now that Coach Barat will call a timeout, and that's what he will do. Tanner Jansen, with a mistake, gets the kill on defense. Eight to four, USC leading here in set number two. In this national championship match so far, we've seen some sloppy plays. Back here just outside. Well, that's just outside of Los Angeles. We're in downtown LA. And set number two, USC leads UC Irvine by four. Let's take a look at the Capital One Cup standings update as teams compete for a combined $400,000 scholarship donation from Capital One on the men's side. North Carolina leads at 75 points on the women's side. It's Stanford with a commanding lead over UCLA. And another scoring chance for USC with the bad pass. Watch Torelli. Instead, it's Tanner Jansen once again. Well, Irvine and I were thinking the same thing. Torelli was going to come barreling down the middle. But Jansen with his sixth kill. Christensen doing a nice job as that freshman setter of keeping his opposite involved in the offense. And now the service error by Shandrick ends that run for USC. You look at the difference between the first set and the second set, hitting wise by both these teams. You see Irvine coming out and hitting only 167 so far, their season average over 350. And a very easy serve from Tilly there. Leads to an easy point for Stephen Mahalski. Now Micah Christensen, the first team All-American freshman setter for USC back to serve. And 
there's that quick set for Dan McDonald. Picks up his second kill of the match. And it's just so hard if you're on defense because you got McDonough right there, number five. Tilly flying in right after him, plus hitters at both sidelines. So it's four against three. It's almost unfair. You only get those three blockers of the net. There was a time many years ago where in volleyball you could put six blockers up. You could put everybody up at the net if you wanted to. They made it illegal, but maybe that's what you need to stop the one big offense with the hitters at the pins. All the USC players were huddled around looking at a certain spot on the floor. And you wonder if maybe there's some blood on the floor down there. Cleaning it up. Set number two, USC leading by four. Set number one went to UC Irvine, 25 to 22, and this acts like a timeout for both coaches. If, but if you're USC, this is not what you want. A four-point lead, you got the momentum, you got the tempo, you got the rhythm going in your offense. It's a free timeout for Coach Spira and his anteaters. Coach, we said going to the last break, we've had some sloppy plays early on in this championship match. Why? Is it, is it because of nerves? Is it because of something else, the familiarity? What is it? A little nerves and also the fact that these two setters are so inexperienced. It's really a half season for Chris Austin for, for UC Irvine and a full season now, the end of his first season for Micah Christensen. They've both been doing a great job, but it's not like three years ago when UC Irvine had a fifth-year senior, Ryan Ammerman, running the ship and had hitters like Carson Clark in rhythm constantly. And, the offense, offenses are just a little rough as a result. USC right now hitting 400 on the night. Dan McDonald's back to serve here for UC Irvine. Good pass by Torelli. And the kill from Mahalski. It's almost amazing when you get a good pass how easy the game becomes like I said four hitters on three blockers You do the math and somebody's gonna be open somewhere another easy pass So another almost easy put away <laughs> But instead USC <laughs> makes the point And you know what sometimes you need those plays of luck that's ball went right through the hands of Torelli, but what a great up there. And Mulhalski just taking the crazy swing off the head into the stands. Six point lead for USC. Now here is a scoring opportunity with a bad pass. And that was going out. Christensen the set for Torelli. Hughes. A great effort in the back row by Mahalski, but the point for UC Irvine. Remember that play if USC goes on to fail to win this set. That was a ball that was sailing six feet long, but Mahalski played it in the back in the back row. And now it's Carson Clark back there to serve. USC doesn't mind a little delay there either, trying to a mini cool, a mini icing for Carson Clark at the service line. Christens in the set for Torelli. And Torelli with a big swing once again, gets it right back. And, and that's big when you think about it because that allows Carson Clark only one chance to serve. Both teams are very happy if they can shut down servers like Torelli for USC and Carson Clark for UC Irvine. And side it right out, get the ball back. Tilly, that swing is long. And the point for USC. And now a timeout taken here by John Spira and UC Irvine. The crowd is getting into it here at the Galen Center. USC trying to tie this one at one set apiece.
are back here inside the Galen Center in Los Angeles, California. Battle of two Southern California schools, USC against UC Irvine for this 2012 Men's Volleyball Championship. UC Irvine to the first set by three. Now USC up by seven here in the second set. And Sunday, two highly ranked SEC teams that lead their respective divisions. Meet as Florida takes on Alabama College Softball. Sunday, 3 Eastern on ESPNU. A 9-3 to three run here for the Trojans. Feathers likes to drop it in there short, try to disrupt the offensive pattern of UC Irvine. Kept alive. Chirelli will send it over. Hughes again gets the kill. The middle blocker for USC took a rash guess on that play. Number 18, Stephen Shandrick, and that left a one-on-one -on -one hitting opportunity for Connor Hughes. Easy put away. Normally, a middle blocker would have been in front of him, but Shandrick was thinking Carson Clark all the way. And that effort by Robert Feathers left Tony Torelli cracking up. Another swing for Torelli, gets the point. Going back to that previous play, Shandrick, later on in this play, he's going to watch right here. He's going to go to his left, and he leaves it wide open, thinking it was going to go to Carson Clark. Connor Hughes again. Connor Hughes having a very nice championship match now with nine kills. And they need that because normally one of their stalwarts is Kevin Tilly, who's hitting minus right now. Only three kills, but four errors. And when they played nine days ago, Tilly had over 20 kills, a huge part of that offense. Kevorkian sets it. And Clark gets the point. Tanner Jansen thought he had a read on it. Point for the editor. 15 to 10, USC Start leads UC Irvine. Yeah, I felt like USC took too much line on Carson Clark there, left him a lot of cross court to hit him. And Kevork and serve. Sails wide, point for USC. Here's Torelli once again serving for USC, hoping to go on a run. Clark comes flying in. Good dig there by Jansen. Clark again. And this time, Carson Clark is able to get the point. And again, a lot of cross court to hit at. This is going to go to the right of Steven Shandrick, the middle blocker for USC. And in addition, he was reaching to his left instead of taking away the cross court. A quick set for the middle. And Steven Shandrick, who is hitting 456 coming into this for his career, will retire, finish his career at USC as the all-time leading hitter. Tilly gets the point as the block sails long. Probably smart at some point for Austin the setter to get Tilly, the outside hitter, going. He's such a, an important part of that offense. When he does not produce, UC Irvine this season has lost. Good pass by Chirelli. And a nice, easy swing there by Mahalski. Out of bounds, so the point for the Anteaters. USC had the play at one of the run to take the service turn away from Tilly. Now he gets a second chance. Let's see if he unloads on this one. A chance to make it a three-point set here in set number two. Torelli has it blocked. Another opportunity for the Trojans. And a tandem blocked up at the net by Hughes and McDonald. 
And a timeout taken here by Bill Ferguson of USC. USC looked like it was cruising along here in the second set. And all of a sudden, this UC Irvine anteater team has climbed back in. But Tony Chirelli, the national player of the year, cards if they're going to win this set, they need more of him. They sure have, and they've gotten good production. They're drawing a fine line, or, or, or walking a fine line, because they want a lot of production out of him, but they can't only rely on him. They did nine days ago and lost. He was the only guy with double-digit kills. You can see him there trying to get his teammates going. His coach, Bill Ferguson, gives him a lot of credit for being the senior leader this year. That's not a role that he was necessarily comfortable with or familiar with the last few years, having players ahead of him, older than him, like Murphy Troy. A 7-3 run here for UC Irvine has been at a 17-14 set. Sunday night, that's tomorrow night, Anish Roth and analyst Quinn Kessman and Paul Carcaterra will unveil the 16-team Division I lacrosse championship bracket during an hour-long selection show. In addition to the bracket announcement, that a breakdown of field and tournament predictions, along with interviews with select head coaches. The NCAA lacrosse championship presented by Enterprise Rent-A-Car on ESPNU Sunday night at 9 Eastern time. And look at the top 20 for college lacrosse and number one. The UMass Minutemen, you go down a list, you don't see Johns Hopkins, the powerhouse, perennial powerhouse, until number eight. So a different year so far in college lacrosse. Kevin Tilly. Kevin Tilly serving here for UC Irvine. And he gets the ace. Goes a little shorter with that one. And it's now a two-point set. And he used the same motion, but he doesn't swing as hard. The Libero, number three for USC, just cannot, J.B. Green cannot re recognize that soon enough, and he couldn't get forward. He was leaning a little on his heels, which is natural to do till he hits that serve so hard normally. Green, a former walk-on on the USC football team. Now he goes to the power serve, and that one Green was able to handle. Clark, back row dig there by Chirelli. Free ball here for UC Irvine, and they put it away. Dan McDonald, and UC Irvine has stormed all the way back to make it a one-point set, a 9-3 run. USC was waiting for the second option to come through there. They call that the bit running down right in the middle of the court, but it leaves a one on one situation for their quick hitter. Number five, Dan McDonald. Tilly, sir, and Tilly was going for it all right there. Service error, point for USC. USC has to regret it. It was several serves ago that they had a good pass. A good set, but Moholski hit the ball out by inches. That leads to the set being virtually tied again. The freshman Christensen. Again, that quick set for Dan McDonald. He's right there to put it away. His fourth kill of the match. Got to give a lot of credit to the setter, number three, for UC Irvine. He's making good choices, knowing that the second option was so effective a week ago. Now he's setting his first option, his quick hitter, in that case, Dan McDonald. McDonald will tie the set. Christensen, nice save. And Hughes able to tie it up at 18. Connor Hughes had 10 kills and six digs against Penn State on Thursday when he hit 364. This is a guy who started the last regular season game and has been in the starting lineup ever since. And now it's a 7-1 run to tie this one up. Take the one point lead. And all the Trojans walking to the bench knowing the timeout was coming. 
How about this? The Anteater storming back. Two big plays. Remember, USC a long time ago took an out ball that would have been a free point for USC. And then the out hit by Moholski that gives Tilly more turns at the service line. They were down 17-11, now up at UC Irvine is 19-18. They took the first set 25-22. to They have stormed back here in the second set. So a couple of costly errors for the USC Trojans. What do they have to do right now to change the momentum? Well, one guy they have on the bench that they like to go to a lot is Madison McKibben. He's a left-hander. He can change. As a left-hander, he can change the rhythm from either side. So maybe you see USC decides to sub him in as an outside hitter for uh, for Mahonsky or as an opposite for Jansen. We'll see if they try to make a move here or just go with what's gotten them close. And if you think about it, UC Irvine trying to go up 2-0 in this match. They're the ones who were down 0-2 in the semifinals, also the finals of the MPSF tournament. It wasn't USC, so USC would be in unfamiliar territory if they go down 0-2. You see what's at stake right now, this UC Irvine team looking for its third national championship in the last six years. And if Irvine can win with Tilly essentially hitting zero, they've got to be really happy with a 2-0 lead because they know he's only going to get better. He's been so solid for them all season long. And the crowd here. The pro Trojan crowd trying to make some noise, but the UC Irvine crowd, who's made this trip about an hour north here to Los Angeles, certainly making their presence felt. Looks like McKibben's getting ready on the sideline. Dan McDonald back to serve. And this serve is out, so the point for USC. Seventh service error of the match for UC Irvine. Austin set with a miscommunication, not a good set there for Kevorkin. And the point for USC. That play's been successful for them in the last half of this game, but um, as you said, not a good connection. That ball was set too close to the net. The middle hitter was drifting away. No chance to put that away. Austin goes for Connor Hughes, and Hughes, who had that good first set, gets a big point here in the second set. And look who's going back to serve, Carson Clark. And of course, USC with no timeouts remaining to cool any server off now. Oh, what a nice pass. Torelli going high above the net. And that was all started because of a nice pass by J.B. Green. J.B. Green, what a great pass. That was not an easy serve. The control puts it right on the money on the head of the setter, Michael Christensen, who puts it in a perfect spot for Chirelli. Feathers likes the short serve. Tilly comes flying into the back row. There's that big play you're talking about. And it leads to a point for UC Irvine. J.B. Green returns for the Trojans. Number two, Tilly flying through as the second option there. If the first option didn't work on the last play, then they go to the second. Free ball here for USC. Torelli with the point. A couple of big swings for Tony Torelli, and you can see Christensen's going to him for those big points. And Torelli's going to be next up at the service line. Torelli with his 10th kill there, but USC not minding its chances with Torelli, the next server, trying to score a couple of points. Jeff Carlson comes in to serve here for the Trojans. And a service error. You're tied at 22. And now Will Montgomery will come in to serve here for UC Irvine. And he prefers more of a float serve, a little less aggressive, but he's going to put it exactly where UCI wants it to disrupt the USC offensive pattern. He wants it down the far sideline. Christian Singh will change of pace there by Cirelli. Sent over, free ball for USC. Cirelli. 
A faster pace, but he hits it wide, and the points for UCI. And Shirelli is told now to calm down. Shirelli has, has been best this season, and the crowd is booing as the, as the home cameras here, the house cameras, showed that right on the line. Shirelli again. Miscommunication by the Trojans. Tilly. What a nice Don't shot by Chirelli. Let's get another look at that ball by Chirelli right there. Ooh, that looked like it was right on the line. That's what he was getting upset about. But Chirelli, now at the service line, has been best leading his team when he keeps his cool. And he can serve for the set if he gets a couple. Tilly has it blocked, and now Shirelli will serve for the set. And I'm not thinking he's going to hit the tape again. To tie this championship up at one set apiece. Pretty good pass. Clark. He says, not so fast. We're going to extra points here in set number two. If that ball gets called in, it's already over for that USC. They've got to forget about that play and fight this off with a chance on offense to take another set point. Clark sends it over. The set for Cirelli, change of pace again. The pancake save. Mahalski. Good read by Chris Austin there. Easy dig. Tilly has it blocked. The up by McDonald. Nice. Another pancake save. Clark the big swing. Good play to get it to the setter for UC Irvine. And the point for Carson Clark sets up set point for UC Irvine. Tenth kill of the match for Carson Clark. What I like about that play was so much good hitter management. The hitter didn't have a good swing. Time after time, they made the defense work for it. Set point for UC Irvine. They trailed 17-11 here in the second set. And so many people hit the floor in so many places that USC is going to take liberal advantage of the rules and wipe up every bit of sweat off slow the tempo down Chris Austin will serve here for the set for the anteaters Chris looking Austin to go up two serve. sets to none we're gonna have a couple of more points Substitution as Chris Litsky is going to come in to sub for Stephen Mahalski. Bringing in a blocking sub here. They know Tilly is a good part of the UC Irvine offense. And that's where they go. What a nice sub. The back row kill sets up another set point for UC Irvine. And there is a substitution once again. Mahalski comes back in replacing Lishke and back to serve for the set is a very dangerous Kevin Tilly. The one who got UC Irvine back in this second set with his serving run, the last one. Short. Remember, he scored that on that earlier against J.B. Green, trying to hit that again, unsuccessful the second time. So it's on at 26, Micah Christensen, the All-American freshman setter.
Tilly comes flying in. Oh, he came under. When the ball is up at the net, Tilly ran under the net. That's not a legal play. But Coach Farrar is arguing that the ball was dead. The ball hit the floor. Watch Tilly, number seven. As soon as he runs under the net here and the ball stays alive, that's illegal. He ran right across the center line. Good call if the ball was in the air. So now set point for USC. Clark extends this set again. Carson Clark looking for his second national championship. Keeping the second set alive. And his coach says that sometimes he has a tendency to overthink. He's best when he just swings hard. He did so on that long rally. Scores again. Keeps UC Irvine alive. Dan McDonald to serve. And he gets the ace again targeting J.B. Green. Certainly UC Irvine is winning the Libero battle. The battle of the different colored shirts who play back row only. And J.B. Green's gotten aced far more than, of course, Michael Brinkley for UC Irvine. And now set point again for UC Irvine. Again, a chance to go up two sets to none here in this championship match. Good, strong serve. Chiarelli has to put it over. And he will get the points. Chiarelli was the one who received that serve. And it didn't look like he was going for a kill. He was trying to make things a little bit difficult there for UC Irvine. Rohalski to serve. Oh, the quick set for Carson Clark, and again, he sets up set point for UC Irvine. And Torelli saying, my bad, he was leaning into the middle of the court, left Carson Clark wide open, and the faster he plays, the better he is. Chris Austin, only a half a season into really starting and playing a lot with a great connection. And now Carson Clark can serve to give his team this two set to none advantage. But you got Chiarelli back up in the front row for U USC against the setter. Again, targeting J.B. Green. Chiarelli, the set was behind him. Christensen again for Chiarelli. The first set, you're right, way too slow and off the net. The second set, very fast, just the way Chiarelli likes it. A lot of these guys love to play really fast and it creates seams in the block just as parts and Clark got the easy kill to play before 29 all good up by Christensen and the kill for Tanner Jansen set point again for USC what a second set here in this championship created by the defense that time of Christensen down the line Let's see if Austin goes to Clark. Carson Clark out of the back row with the connection that he has. Yep. And Clark again. Gets the good point call. as it was touched at the net. Torelli saying good call. And you got the hot hand right now in Carson Clark. If I were Austin, I'd keep with it until USC starts leaning that way with their blockers. Connor Hughes. Now serving here, the sophomore from Costa Mesa, California. It's Torelli again. Clark able to keep it alive. Tilly gets the point and sets up another set point for UC Irvine. Fifth set point for the Anteaters here in set number two. And you say if they get it back once again, go to Clark? I think they'd probably go back to Chiarelli here. Well, now they have to. What a wow. swing. Falling backwards. And he had the other one off the one foot, the, the layup approach. What made this good is he didn't hit it 
low over the net. It hit the high hands and bounced out of bounds, keeping USC alive. Tanner Jansen back to serve. A deep serve. Clark. Good hands, Justin. <laughs> give, give a dig. 32 to 31. UC Irvine again serving for the set. That carom's off the block right into the hands of my partner here. Again, Chirelli is hitting against Chris Austin. Not as strong a blocker as Carson Clark. Kevorkin with a service error now opens the door for USC because Tony Chirelli is back to serve. 32 to 32. In case you're wondering, the sets are to 25. And the service error by Chirelli. And now you'll see Chris Austin step the other way. He goes to the other sideline. He's going to try and serve right at Chirelli down the line to try to slow him down in his offensive pattern. Seven set point for UC Irvine. Free ball kept alive by Shadrick. Never missed time. Clark for the win. Carson Clark with so many big swings gets the swing on set point and gives his team a 2-0 lead in this championship match. And his setter Austin and he have been struggling to try to get that connection going but they certainly did to win this match hitting it down the line and in to put UC Irvine up 2-0 in the NCAA title match.